I'm uh, just installing some stuff here for my PC upgrade, a wireless keyboard, a graphics card, and some overkill on some RAM. Very nice project. Anybody can do it. You can do it too. 64 gigabytes, which I would never use on this PC build, but for future computers, I bought it anyway. Nice graphics card, 1660. Oh, yes. Mm, fine, fine, fine. Still for 2022. So let's get started. First, I will install the components. Anyone can do it, even you can too. The RAM, that's very easy to do. Oh, yes, you can do this easy and easy peasy in one, two, three steps. I will show you how. And look at this. Look at this, the video card, nice and clean and crispy, a 1660, it's all I need, and a wireless Bluetooth keyboard, ever so gently, I put it across the screen. Now, before we begin, you will need a couple of tools, you will need the pliers and a couple of screwdrivers. Comes in handy, always have the proper tools. Now, let's begin. First, when we get our computer or PC, we always find the easiest way to do it. Never do the hardest way to do anything. Always do it the easiest way. Couple screws here, couple screws there. You don't have to take the whole thing apart. You can just take it apart piece by piece until you get what you need. It's just simple, simple, simple. Anyone can do it. You can do it. I can do it. Anyone can do it. You don't have to be a genius. You don't have to be a rocket scientist. And once I first learned this out, it saved me a lot of money. Take the side thing off. Turn it over. Look at this. What do we have here? Oh, okay. That's where it all begins. You got your RAM slots. You got your graphic card slots. It's just ready to upgrade. Nice and peasy. Mm, I'm just looking at this computer for the first time. You don't have to be a genius. Just look at it. And all the computers are basically the same. No expensive motherboards needed. Mm, I'm looking at the RAM. Take the RAM out. Easy to do it. A couple slots here. A couple pins pull down. It pops right out. I'm looking. I'm looking. Yeah, I'm, I'm gauging. What do I have to do? Hmm. Anyone can do it. You can do it. I can do it. Anyone can do it. Hmm. One slot out. Two slots out. Come on, baby. Come on. Yes, and then I'm determining what else I need here. I'm going to do my RAM. And this is a full video, there's no shorts involved. You can do it. Like I say. And when I put my RAM down, I always line it up against the back of the computer so I know how the teeth lined up when I put it in. Saves time, saves money. You don't want them teeth going in backwards to ruin your RAM. My big hands can do it, your little hands can do it, whatever, whatever. Now what I had in there was the 16 gigabytes of RAM, 8 gigabytes each stick. And I'm upgrading to a 16 gigabyte stick of RAM. 64 gigabytes RAM, 32 sticks, 32 sticks. And here goes the first stick. Clickety clack. You hear click, you hear clack. Yes. Just give it a little push and make sure it's in there. And there we go. I'm going to put my second stick in. It's as simple as that. You can do this, man. He's not a rocket scientist. Anyone can do this. Uh, 
There goes my second stick. And now I'm putting in, getting the video card ready to be put in. First I'm taking off the tabs. So the RAM will actually fit the video card with the six gigabytes of RAM. Oh yes. Easy peasy. This is like my third or fourth video or so, so just bear with me, I'll get better and better. Subscribe to my channel for the future. But I was told that you have to take two tabs out to install the uh, video graphics card. So I'm taking two tabs off. Here goes one. Yes, a nice beautiful graphics card for this build. And I know the RAM is overkill, but like I said, it's for a future build. And now I'm unpackaging the graphics card, getting ready to put it in. And what I'm always thinking about is how we to do it quicker and efficiently and more faster for the next build. I'm not necessarily concerned about this build. I'm just basing this build on my past builds. And I'm thinking to myself right now, this thing is a little long. How's it going to fit in this PC? And you will see what I'm talking about in just a few seconds. And just look at that beauty. The 1660 is such a great graphics card for its day, and it's still pretty good today. And I'm sizing it up right now, and I'm trying to figure out how in the hell am I going to get this long thing in there. Excuse the words, but that's what I was thinking. Checking the pins. I got this computer for 280 bucks off Facebook Messenger, which is a great place to get stuff off of. If you're on the budget like I was at this time, uh, just meet in a safe, secure location. I think I met this guy at Taco Bell. He was a nice guy, nice gentleman. And as a matter of fact, he told me I needed DDR4 RAM for this build. And he told me the exact card I needed and everything. Because I've been out of the game for a while, and I'm just not getting back in to PC builds. And right now, look at me. I'm trying to figure out how am I going to get this thing in here. It's not fitting. I've seen other videos where they took the front of the computer off and this, that, and the other off. And I said to myself, oh, it has to be easier. And you will discover in a little while how I made it easier. So if you follow me, you will learn the easiest way to do about anything. Just watch me, I'm trying to figure it out, doing it without taking anything else apart. Then I discover, hey, it's not going to work. That's the beautiful thing about life is discovery. So you discover that didn't work, so what do I do? I'm not going to take the front plates off and that and the other. I decided to see if I can just take the side plate off. I'm looking and looking. I'm saying, why do the other guys take the front off and this, that, and the other part? And I said to myself, I don't need to do all that. I want to see what I can do. If I do need to do all that, I will. But let's see what I can do without taking the front and all this stuff off and that stuff off. So I decide, hey, let's try the side plate. See so if the side just comes off and I can slide it in there. Hmm. Being careful not to mess with any wire. Look at that. The side piece comes right off. And I'm thinking to myself, it's a win-win. I didn't have to take the front plate off. I didn't have to do this, that, and the other. I just took the side plate off. Slid it in. 
Hmm, since I've been out of the game so long, I've really never bought a new card. I always bought a used graphics card, because I'm a cheap back then. And I'm thinking, how come this thing is not fitting in right now? It should go right in. Why is it not fitting in? I know I've done everything right. I'm, have I been out of the game so long? I don't know what's going on. And then I discovered, to my surprise, when you buy a new graphic card, it has a plastic cover on the teeth that fits into the slide. I did not know this. So I'm trying to fit it in right now, but I see I'm gently, I'm not just trying to force it in. I'm just saying, why ain't this thing fitting right now? Why, why is this not fitting? It should be fitting. I, I should be done with this build by now. What's, what's, what's going on here? What, why, it should be, what, what, what's going on? I don't know. Hmm. At this point, I still didn't know. So, I pull it out and I say, what, what, what's going on here? It should go right in. Have I been out of the game so long? And then I see it. It's a plastic cover over the teeth of the car that slides in the slot. So then I just take off the plastic slot that's covering the teeth. And lo and behold, it fits right in gently. Gently, gently, gently. Look, look at that. It's a surgeon hand. It's a surgeon, not really. It's just I know things, when they fit right, you don't have to press hard. Just a gentle push. You can line it up just like that. Now, look at now. I'm wondering, okay. Now it went in too good. Is everything in? What did I miss? Nothing. Everything is perfectly lined up. You can do this. Anyone can do this. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. And look at that. Perfect. Hmm. You know, when you ever install anything, you know it's always a problem somewhere. So I'm wondering, where is the problem? Now, that's a big graphics card for this PC build. So I decided, hmm, let's see what's going to happen. It's always best to lay your screws out in a certain way and put your frame back on a certain way. See, right now, I've been out of the game so long, I'm fumbling with that side piece. I'm not sure how I took it out, but then, you know, eventually you will figure out how you done anything. Just to start it back right. I noticed there was a slot on the side that it had to fit into. After fumbling around for a little while, I realized what was going on. I was a little intimidated by this build at first because I had been out of building computers for quite so well. And if you notice, there's a 600 watt power supply right there. So the guy I got this computer from said, told me it was a 600 watt power supply. And I was like, why did you put a 600 watt power supply?